Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Alpha King Carter here. Welcome to episode 7 of my UFC career mode. Yes, the whole UFC is against me. I gotta go train somewhere else, but it's all good, man. Let's get into the video. Alright guys, now that we're into the video, I have something to tell you guys. Every time I'm fighting against somebody in the UFC, they always tell me that the fighter I'm fighting is already a part of the gym and that I can't train there. That means I'm not a big enough draw yet, which kind of pisses me off. So I'm going to go ahead and take my rage out on my next fighter because he's obviously in the gym that I want to be in and that I'm trying to aspire to be the top of the class in. So you know it is what it is, man. But the fight hype is medium. I only got 84 fitness for this fight. I don't need to be at peak fitness to knock this dude out, man. He's going down regardless of what's going on. Make sure you guys like the video. Let's go ahead and hop in. So in other news, it looks like I am the talk of the town and my whole problem is I'm here to knock dudes out. They already know what's going down. So why can't they give me my just do? Just go ahead and give me the title match already, man. If I get my head knocked off, it's all good. I ain't got no problem with that. Just give me my shot. You feel me? I'm feeling myself too much. Let's get into the UFC minute. Hey everyone, I'm Megan O'Leavy, and here's what you need to know for your UFC Minute. It came as a shock to the MMA community when this fighter left his longtime gym recently. But that surprise was nothing compared to the reaction felt around the globe when he agreed to fight his longtime training partner in a compelling matchup that highlights this weekend's UFC card at Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec. That's it for today. Stay tuned for your next UFC Minute, and I'll see you at the fights. I ain't gonna lie, man. She bad. She could get it. Did I say that out loud on video? Oops. <laughs> but we about to get into this fight, man. I'm fighting up against this dude named Wang. I don't know. But uh, I can't wait to see the tells of the tape because I got to see what this guy is bringing to the octagon, man. I know I'm bringing my guns. I know I'm bringing my fists. I know I'm bringing a whole lot of power and a whole lot of frustration, man. I've been doing my thing in the UFC for these last, like, two fights. <laughs> but it's all good, man. I'm still undefeated, man. Won all my fights by knockout. Everybody knows, man. I am the beast that you don't want to get in front of. And uh, I think I need to remind a couple people around the UFC. You know what I'm saying? Especially the uh, dude Jeremy or Jeffrey. Whatever that dude that been hitting me up on Twitter pissing me off about... You know, so I got to remind a couple people, man. So let's check out the tail of the tape real quick. So he's 24. He's only 6'3". He only got a 73. He a dead man. Let's go ahead and put this dude night night. Y'all ready? Let's go. All right. Let's get it popping. So, guys, check this out. As I take out my frustration on this dude, I want to let y'all know that everything you see here is very unpredictable. These are going to be the moves of a champion. This is going to be something you've never seen before. Nah, I'm just playing. Uh, all the moves that I do in this fight, man, I'm just throwing everything that I have in my arsenal. I still haven't learned a lot of moves, so you guys are going to see a lot of, like, the Superman punch and stuff like that. I'm saving that spinning back fist, man. We're going to save that for a later video, but check out the uppercut and the hook. Just giving him a couple moves, lifting that chin up, making it a little tender. Another hard hook, man. This dude is definitely up against this cage, man. Nice Superman punch. Oh, my God. I can't even let this dude get a hit in. Oh, my God. Yo, he can't throw a punch, a kick. He don't know what to do. I am on him. Oh, my God. That's another one. Another head kick, man. What I have realized, though, guys, my legs are way more powerful than my fists. And that's, of course, in real life as well. Everybody knows if you have, like, great leg power, it's really no need to throw punches in the UFC. Only to, like, you know, for separation, distance, and stuff like that. But most people that like kicking, man, they love throwing those knockout kicks, man. But check me out with the nice timing, catching the kick, giving them something nice to eat. Pause. Now, uh, one thing that I can say about this fighter is... As I come in, he's throwing shorter punches, like short jab, short cross, little, little, nice little uppercut. Everything that the CPU is taught to do. You know what I'm saying? Usually, I wish that I would see the CPU throw more different type of shots, like maybe a spinning back fist or, you know, elbows and a close touch. But maybe that's probably because I'm fighting dudes that are, like, at a lower level like I am. But I believe I'm cut on that right there. I should have blocked that kick. But it's all good, man. I'm giving this guy everything that I got. Caught the kick. 
hit him nice. That should have been a health event, but of course his stamina is so high. I don't know why. Caught another one. There we go. Nice health event. And uh, that little punch in the gut. I don't know why I threw that punch in the gut. I'm just throwing anything that I can. And he's throwing kick after kick. Wasting stamina after stamina. And I'm just waiting for him to just get knocked out, man. So, uh, one thing that I did have a question for you guys is. How are you liking the videos, man? How are you guys liking the UFC series so far? Let me know in the comment section below. Like, give give me like a detailed paragraph on what you guys think about the uh, actual videos. Also, um, spam up the word mm, Connor inside the chat. Just do it. I don't know why. Just spam my last name in the chat. There we go with another health event, though. You know what I'm saying? Trying to give him all these Superman punches. Hold up. You know what up, big fella? You know what time it is, bro. Another one. You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying anything that I can, bro. Just trying to bloody up my opponent. Should have caught that kick. I wish I could have, but it's all good, man. We got 20 seconds left. Can I finish this guy in 20 seconds? Let me know in the comment section right now. Can I finish it? Oh, I didn't catch the kick, though. No. Oh, 10 seconds left. Superman punch. No. Jab. Oh, he grabbed me like a little punk. This dude is scary Mary, bro. He grabbed me like a punk. Let's check out the replays of the first round. Superman. <laughs> Y'all might have to bring the Superman to YouTube uh, intro back, bruh, because these Superman punches is clean. But uh, nice body kick. I'm going to definitely stay away from those. Ah, I tried to block that one. It's all good, though. It looks like he's more on the offensive this time around. Caught the kick. Held the vent, though. Held the. Oh, my God. Man, get up, man. Get up. Because obviously you don't know how to block. Get up. Come on, man. Yeah, you see me taunting this dude. Oh, my God. Another Superman and another health event. This dude is done. Oh, my God. He's done for. Get back up. Get back. Get back up, man. Yo, look at me putting on an onslaught. Oh, another body kick. Oh, excuse me. Hold up. Oh, hold up. Wait, it's over. He's asleep. Hold up. Hey, God, come on, guys. Did you see me making go night-night? Somebody get this man a pillow. He's stretched out, bruh. I just hit that man with the Joey Jahad. Did anybody see me make him go night night? I don't think y'all seen it. Look at that straight right, bruh. Blood splatter everywhere. Look at it. One more time. One more time. Look at the dress. Look at the dress. Boom, boy. Do you see the? Do you see the friction? Boy, one more time. One more time, dog. One more time. Look at the dreads. Boom. The dreads almost knocked him out, fam. Yo, shout out to the dreads. Everybody spam dreads in the chat right now, bro. If you got dreads, if you're a dreadhead, spam dreads in the chat, bro. The dreads make everything look better. That's why I quit the dreads. Y'all wouldn't want to see no bald-headed fighter knocking dudes out. Like, it's no cinematic effect to that. Like, when you see those replays, right, just imagine if I had a bald head, yo. It wouldn't be no real, like, effect to it. You guys wouldn't be like, oh, my God, he just killed him. Y'all be like, look at this bald-headed dude thinking he nice. He old. He falling off. He washed. You know what I'm saying? Gotta throw the dreads on him, man. Speaking of dreads, my son, bruh, he is going to kill me for this comment. But uh, my son wants dreads, y'all. If you guys want my son to get dreads, let me know in the comment section. I don't. I, don't, I really don't want him to get dreads. Um, basically, he has right now a fade with like the uh, the box top where he, you know, used the sponge and stuff. But he wants to get dreads, like real dreads at, on the top in some type of design or style. I'm really not a fan. But, uh, you know, if his report card is looking good, maybe I'll allow him to get dreads and stuff like that, you know. But uh, that's here nor there. Um, I got my racks. got my 25 racks. My longevity is lowering because I'm taking more beatings. Uh, this is the UFC, man. You got to stay on your toes, dog. You got to. But uh, let's see what they got for me on social media. Okay, a few people loving me. Hold on. Come on, please give me all thumbs up. That's what I'm talking about, man. The fans are loving the knockouts. The fans are loving the onslaught. The fans are loving how beastful I can get. Oh, and look at this, bro. Look at this. They, they done threw the gif in there, bro. It's over. It's over. They said it's fun watching our Pac King Carter do his thing on fight night. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, don't forget to like. Um, What else? Hmm. What do I usually see on the outro? I don't know. I guess I'm out. Bye. <laughs> All right, guys. This is the end of the video. I hope you guys definitely enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. And you can also watch one of my previous videos after hitting that subscribe button. I hope you guys like this video. Let's get this thing to 5,000 likes. And this is your boy IKC signing out. 
Peace.